This episode's gonna be called The Weak Feet. I looked up barefoot in the park to see if you could indeed go barefoot in the park. Well, they have barefoot parks, you see. Hi, Mom. Hi. What you doing? Sorting your laundry. Uh, because you didn't. I'm a good kid. Sometimes. Well, sometimes it's gonna have to do it. What, what about being barefoot in the park? Why are you barefoot? I don't like foot prisms anymore, aka shoes. There's a lot of research on that. Hurts your back, you have weak feet, you can't get strong like feet on the bottom. Your soul have a very weak soul. <laughs> yeah, that's part of it. Everyone says, you know, walk on grass, walk on sand, but there's stuff in there that you can't see, and it's kind of like not the best place to start, and they say to start walking on uh, concrete, actually. Hang on, I'm out of breath for uh, no reason. <laughs> I walked up one step, so like, I, I might need toweled off. Pop basil. We got... Is that what it's called? That would be funny. Your new nail polish? Yeah, and you bought it for us in secret when we were in the bathroom. Just like, you know, just like we used to do at, at Kmart. Oh, no, Pop Dazzle would have been funny. It's Pop Arazi? That's funny, too. That is also funny, too. I get it now. Pop Arazi is the name of the brand. Okay. That's funny, too. Which is funnier, mine or theirs? Theirs, probably theirs. Are there barefoot parks? No. They're doing barefoot in the park. And I feel like Tony Perkins did that. Did that play? Maybe? I don't know. Or there's a theme song? That's Picnic. Well, we can Picnic as well. I don't know. I feel like, uh, I feel like when I looked it up, it, it didn't work out. It gave me a play. And, um, oh, that reminds me. What was that name on the, the Baskin Robin, the Red Robin menu from yesterday? Are you gonna keep getting out all your makeup and then not doing your face? Yep, that's what I'm known for. Uh, yeah, what was that? Don't, or no, it wasn't at Red Robin or the menu. We were looking up, well, we were at Robin. We were looking up the trip. The, for the trip, we get Clifford in here to redo his most famous role. Speaking of Broadway, to come in and do it for the trip? No, not for the trip. Remember that? I, oh, yeah. You don't block as much as you'd like to. You remember more than you'd like to. How am I going to do my face if the recorder, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to put the recorder on my bra strap. Hopefully it records my voice. If it doesn't, I don't know. If it doesn't, this whole story is going to be moot. Anyway, we were looking up Allegheny Forest stuff. There were some warnings. A weather warning and something about ospreys being rare. And don't pick the ginseng. Don't pick the ginseng. A play in two acts starring Joel Grey. I, I love it. I love it. Who would direct it, though? Who would be a good director? Um, I know. Like someone from Star Trek. Is it Jonathan Franks? No? I can't remember his name. Somebody. Because he does like those kind of, I don't know, he's a little, he's a little strange, which is really, uh, really kind of cool. He's like the everyman that's a little strange, and I love that, so if I knew his last name for sure. Maybe it's Fracas? I don't know. Is that a name? That's probably not a name. Look, Mom, I'm doing my Fit Me makeup. It fits me! Is there a coupon? Uh, no, that was a pamphlet on drug facts, and if you open it, don't do that. I'm doing it. Why are there 90 copies of the drug facts? Like, there, there's a pull-out tab on the back of my concealer with, like, a thousand copies of the drug facts and, like, tear tickets like it was a carnival. Like, share with all your friends, drug facts. That's weird. Oh, we might go to the carnival. The carnival? Uh, yeah, in the fair. Oh, where we heard Doja Cat in the restroom and I got sad about all the pigs and all of the chickens and coops? That was the one. I couldn't look at, like, cattle anymore. They were all just standing in there. Who's going on the Ferris wheel? Not me. It was a little scary. It was an experience, though, but it's like I've already experienced the fear. It's it's a little bit expensive for what it is, and you have to go with a buddy. Ferris wheel buddy? Clifford could be my Ferris wheel buddy. That'd be fun. Or I might just, like, drag someone I know along with us. Bert could be my Ferris wheel buddy. The little girl I was with was good, and it was funny because I ended up going on the Ferris wheel with a little girl anyway, even though I was trying to, like, be independent and go on the Ferris wheel myself. That's not true. I wanted to go with you, but you wouldn't go. I just didn't want to risk it. No one wanted to risk it. Back to not the fair. We were talking about don't pick the ginseng. What would the story be about? Honey, I don't know. Aren't you up for imagining an entire play in two acts right now at 10 a.m.? Not really. You can't move away from me. Because the recorder will follow you. That's creepy. Oh, I mean, I'm doing it. It's not floating in the air. Now, that would be creepy. It's floating in the air on my shoulder right now because I stuck it under my bra strap. Oh, sorry. I made a rule not to say stuff like that on here, and I continue I continually break the rule. <laughs> I just thought everyone's probably hearing, like, me slapping makeup on my face. Probably not a fun sound. We could talk about Tony, uh, <laughs> Tony Perkins. <laughs> Let's talk about Tony Perkins for a minute. Uh, Tony, because I had a dream about Tony Perkins, and I had a dream about Andrew Garfield, and, uh, Andrew Garfield, British dude, I don't want to go into it, but it was a really nice dream for me, anyway, and, uh, well, and probably them. But, uh, they were at the beach, and, um, I guess Tab Hunter was out of the picture at this point. He went off with a girl. Tab Hunter went off with a girl, and then Tony was, like, knocked on his door. It was, like, at a, a hotel on the beach, and he knocked on the door. And I was like, white doors, one level. It was like, I don't know, 217? I think he lived at, I think Andrew lived at 270, 217. 
and Tony knocked on the door, and they knew, like, it was still daylight, it was like four or five, and they knew that they shouldn't be meeting, but that was part of the movie. The movie was, like, okay with this. The movie that I was dreaming about in my mind was okay with two guys, like, getting together in a hotel room, laughing, having fun, I don't know. But anyway, so night came, and we won't talk about that. One of them admired the other one's legs, and I thought that was strange, because they looked, like, the same. They're both tall and gangly, and like, all right, if you like his legs, you're gonna like yours. Kind of look the same. They store my eyeliner upside down. Anyway... There's more. Kitch, we, that was too much. We are going to get cancelled from you and his network. <laughs> you can't run away. You can't threaten me with nothing. I can take the recorder away. Take it away, see what kind of show you have. That's right. Perhaps, well, yeah, I guess I'd be folding, uh, recording myself folding laundry. We already did that, actually. I'm here for you, Mom. And, uh, I'm, I'm making your show spicy. It's for ratings. No one watch it. The last rating that we got, the last comment, said, you know, WTF. I can't wait to have another comment like that. That's what's fun. I just set the recorder to do a cat eye on my dog eyes. What's more in the dream? Cat, no. No more. No more legs. No more feet. Um, no, it was daytime, so the next day, really, nothing happened. I mean, I'm sure it did, but I didn't see it. Boy, I have boring dreams. Anyway, they were playing a record early in the morning, and this, like, cute 60s girl came in, and then they ended up, all three of them, dancing together to this record. And the cute 60s girl, since this was a movie, this was, like, a 66 movie, she was Olivia somebody, the actress Olivia someone, who played the queen in The Crown. Another British actor. Isn't that funny? I keep dreaming about British actors. I wonder what that means. Same problem, I can't hold the recorder and do makeup at the same time. Let's try the right shoulder. Uh-oh. My bra strap's weak on that side. You won't hold it. Never mind. Get shoes. Oh, the slip prisons. I don't know what kind of shoes to even wear for two seconds. How about your hipster shoes? All right. That'll work. It's hair drying time. <gasps> my ring, my ring! Kitch, honey, relax. It's here. I was just moving the water bottle. I don't want it to get lost. It's so pretty. Slip prisons first? Yeah, put on your shoes. I have to dry my hair first. Well, I mean, I, like, before we leave, I have to dry my hair. There we go. <laughs> I found this new thing It's going to be helpful to all. <laughs> it reminded me of Evan not understanding what a hipster is. He's like, I thought it was people that were hip and up on things, not people who specifically rejected popularity. Like, I don't, he didn't understand it, I don't understand it. And I've been called a hipster a lot too, and so is he, and we don't get it. Hipster support group. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? Here's a tip for people, which, <laughs> here's a tip for all shoe owners. Put your laces inside your shoes when you put them away. When, when you store your shoes for the day. <laughs> laces inside, and then they won't get, um... Oh, that should be right. Laces inside. Laces don't hide. But it's like washing the laces afterwards. Anyway, everyone put your laces inside your shoes when you put them away. It's great. It's great. Oh, I can't curl my hair. I have to dry it. All right, I have my shoes on. Your feet are supposed to be, like, spread. Your toes are supposed to be spread. And shoes squeeze your toes. All of them. All shoe designs squeeze your toes. Unless they're, like, a perfect box. So that's a problem with shoes. Also, any kind of cushion or heel throws off your balance. Also, when you wear soft running shoes, the buttery cushion when you're running actually causes more injuries because you can't rely on your muscles or your joints, so you rely on the cushion and you take longer strides, you walk faster, you take more risks, and you twist around in the butter of the cushion. So you need uh, firmer running shoes. Uh, also, you can run barefoot if you like, so that's a thing. Watch my ring. Kitch, should I tape it to you? I'll put it on when I'm done. Can, like, we're just not meant to wear shoes in that way. Sandals sometimes for really rough terrain, but that's it. And they aren't supposed to squeeze your feet. So, for decades... Oh, no hair dryer for me today? There we go. So for decades now, millennia, millennia, millennials, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years, we've been uh, doing shoes wrong. And I had a... I, I imagine that. And you know why we started doing shoes like this? Uh, why? Cities. Because we needed big platforms and stuff and shoes so that we could walk through the garbage. That's why. That's the magic school bus lesson for today. We have to do Twister if our backs ever are okay. Oh, darn, the camera's good. That is good for that. Much longer. That was very accusatory, Mom. I'm not going to be much longer. I'm just drying my hair. I don't want me to go to the bank with wet hair. Can I have a loan? Like, yeah. I'm going to work. What's the kids' bucks? They all look so colorful just from the spines of the kids' books. I haven't even opened them. They look so colorful. So great. Ow! Oh, Mom, I wiped myself with the hair dryer. Ouch. What if I got a concussion from drying my hair? You imagine the weirdest things. Well, I'm be prepared. For a hair dryer concussion? It could happen. It just did. Ow, that really hurt. Well, if you weren't trying to do three things at once. All right, do you want the recorder? I don't think I want to record anyone drying their hair. That's why I'm the creative. Just kidding, you're creative. We're all pretty creative. Except for Clifford, he kind of stays the same and keeps whining about the same things over and over again. Oh, that's not gonna work. I was gonna try it lower. Putting the recorder lower in my bra? I don't know. Bitch, why don't you just let me hold the recorder? You had offered, but you wouldn't record what I wanted you to. No one can hear what the... Alright. I better... 
speak bellissimo because the recorder is really close to me on my shoulder. Joel Grey ASMR. Joel Grey ASMR. That sound documentary that he did was like... Oh, now I'm turning away from the recorder, oh well. That sound documentary that he did where he was just like... I've never been relaxed by the thought of the inner ear before, but he made it possible. It was like a PBS special. That was crazy. I loved it. I bet it was on PBS when I was a kid. Well, when I was a kid. When you were in college. 70, uh... Well, no, not when you were in college. Yeah, that would have been when you were a kid. I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is, I don't think he was out of the closet yet. And that's usually not what people think about when they watch, uh, sound documentaries and ear documentaries. You don't watch that, like, educational programming for children and go, I wonder if he was still in the closet or not. Kids, this is really getting out of hand. No, I have it in hand. I have everything exactly how I want it to be. It's not too much. It's not too little. It keeps listeners interested. I know. Again, no one listens, but... Well, you're listening to me, so it can't be that bad. I'm used to you. Used to me is not the same as being up for me, I guess. I was gonna say something. What was I gonna say? You've been saying stuff this whole time. I'm curling my hair now. Do you hear it? You're the curling iron. da 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 I tried to make that sound different, but it wasn't. I am curling my hair. It's such a nice day out. It's another sunny, nice day out, isn't it? Is that what you're gonna say? Because the weather is really nice. Yeah, we can go positive. Let's go positive. Let's just forget all about how the post office and the bank and everybody is gonna be lying and making up stories. Let's just forget about that. Let's do it as a family. It's gonna go fine. Let's pretend it'll go fine. Let's let's meditate on that. Let's go. Hi, everybody. At the post office. That's mind control. That's not the same. Oh, mind control isn't the same as meditating? Uh-oh. I've been doing it wrong. That's not good. A black cauldron voice for you. Who did have that gruff voice in Black Cauldron? That was like, that was, um, I have a hair in my eye. Always. Like his sidekick or his gremlin. John Hurt's gremlin <laughs> sounded like that, I think. Joel Grey SMR. What else are we talking about? This is very difficult. Trying to, trying to talk soft. It's not working. Do you love how in Billy the Kid, when we were watching Maverick, Billy the Kid, Joel's so tiny, he could like sit in a drawer. That was kind of funny. Watch him, Billy. All right, I'm going to get in the drawer. Well, he was on the dra- Well, his foot was in the dr- Yeah. Yeah, he's tiny. We all know what tiny being tiny is like. You have to come up with a you're so small joke. If you're so small, Anita looks like a chopstick. My hair has grown out to that length where one side flips under and one side flips up. And one side looks modern and nice and the other side looks like the Brady Bunch mom. You don't need a haircut, do ya? Gosh, no. Nope, I did it in March. The March hair, we know. I'm not as excited about moving as I should be, and I think it's because we aren't moving. If I have to pack a million boxes, is that how you tell? No, I mean because, like, we aren't, it's not, like, a new place. I was gonna say new people, but, like, why would you randomly move in with strangers? I don't. Hi, Fred and Edna. Ow! Alright, that's it. I can't, I can no longer do hair stuff. I injured myself, it's over. Oh, I'm walking around swinging a cord. We have to go. Excuse me. Sorry about it. Okay, uh, can I pee? Have lunch? Invite a few friends over? Throw a pool party? Kids, we have to go! W we're moving right now? To the post office! We're moving to the post office? Alright, now you do sound like Clifford. We get tackled to the ground the post office to bring that in there. <laughs> Put it in my purse, like always. Hi, I didn't know if I had to fill out a card and things like that and win. Just it's online, that's good to know. Thank you. Mommy, went to pee. Oh, socks! We should have left before we left the house. We should have left before he left the house, Mom. No, she should have gone. We did. No, I just have a quick bit of meeting at the bank. I don't know how quick it'll be. But we'll see. We can, we're real close to home. We can go into McDonald's. They're, they're closed, Mom. Oh, she can't go in the drive through really rough bank meeting. Everyone getting really personal. I mean, I know that bank is like the personal touch, but like, that was a little bit much. That's alright. I'm used to stuff like that. As you get older, you get more and more used to it. I mean, never mind. People get personal all the time. Overly personal. Personable and personal are two different things, and businesses should learn that. But anyway, let's do this. I like how that bus just blew through the red light. See, there, there's a way to feel right there. But instead, think about the MC, and I think, hey, the sky it's beautiful. And the sun is beautiful. In fact, the whole day is beautiful. So there you go. Again, that's Muppet Cabaret. I did not see actual cabaret. Disclaimer.